We're talking about speculation about the past. We're not talking about real observations in the present. None of the major steps of evolution have ever been recapitulated in the lab. The biggest problem for evolution is how life got started. What Darwin's really proposing, humans came from some ape-like creature. There's just no evidence to support that humans and chimps share a common ancestor. How do you resolve that paradox? We see repeated instances of corroborating what is in the book of Genesis. Mount St. Helens demonstrates that much geological work can be done in a very short amount of time. We found soft tissue in many different specimens from different fossil sites all over the world. The real issue is, do the laws of physics and chemistry in our universe permit life to come from non-life? And all of our scientific observations are indicating that the answer is no. Darwin gave a test for evolution. He said, if you find something, some species, some part of a species out there, that you can't build step by tiny step, then my theory is a failure. So by Darwin's own pen, evolution should be rejected. This has profound implications. It means that this assumption that the secular scientists have been using for the last hundred years is wrong. Are you ready for an adventure?